All right, a quick update on the cookhouse. Walking down the boardwalk. All right, so I was able to get the Wayne's coating metal, as you can see, on all three sides. So that's right on top of the bubble wrap, which will be a nice reflectant because this is a side that gets that bakes in the sun. So that should reflect the heat from going inside the building. And then here's the back side. Again, completed the Wayne's coating. And then on the final side. Got that as well. So and I, then I framed in the rest around the windows. So I'll be re I'm ready now to put the top metal on. It's gonna be a nice beige. So I think it'll look pretty nice. Um, so those, that's been the exterior update. Oh, and the roof. I did do a unique roof. As you can see, in between the metal and the top, I did put down that uh, rain ice guard. And then I have a big space in between the actual wooden roof and the metal. And that's just so that we have really good air circulation under the metal roof. We don't want this to bake in the summer. Again. <laughs> inside I've been doing wiring so I was sick for two weeks so I haven't really been able to work much on it I just started feeling better so now that I'm in I got the rough in of the electrical um, done with everything except for um, the main lights so that's what I'm working on now and um, I have a lot of wires run for outside lighting too. So there's going to be a light on the outside, a motion light there. Over here, there's going to be a motion light um, oh, over here in the corner, sorry, um, as well. You know, those two blue boxes up there are just going to be for plug-in lights for the interior. Uh, so what else? Oh, and I'm going to put electrical boxes on the exterior so there'll be a outside box right there i'm going to have one on all four sides so that we have power outside as well back wall here is going to have these bricks we're going to put all these uh bricks on that back wall which i think will look pretty cool and then hanging down from the top we have these really cool lights that we found online um here it is here so we have six of these hanging lights which are really cool looking um so i'm going to wire those up to obviously i have to do that before i put the walls and insulation up um so what i'm going to do i'm thinking so i have this board this two by four here and I marked holes um, 16 inches is that I found these um, electrical plates at Home Depot. Uh, oops. Well, um, these plates already um, punched out two holes. So I have six of these fixtures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put six of these on here. You can see where I have the holes already. Um, for the so I'm going to drill out the holes next and then I'm going to paint that board black Because um, we have gonna... this um, Wine bottle chandelier, which is going to be really cool So again, I'll put some cross members and then I'll hang that up and you actually put wine bottles in it upside down It looks really cool um, So that's kind of what I'm working on now All right, so here's my solution for those six hanging lights so this piece here will go um, between the rafters 
and then I have a piece in the middle just because of the weight and all the way to the other end and um, like I said before I found these pieces here at Home Depot and if I flip this over you can see how I wired it so it comes in comes out all the way down so that was my solution for being able to hang those six lights. That'll be um, right next to the brick wall in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up. So here is our wine bottle chandelier. Um, it's up, I put it up in between the two rafters. We'll have to paint to uh, touch up the black screw marks up there, do some black painting, but uh, you can have two lights in, inside there, you can see, and then you just supply your own wine bottles. That's going to look really cool lit up. And then back here, I installed that six light piece right there. Um, well, it's not installed. Well, yeah, the wood's up, but I still got a lot of wiring to do. And here is what the one looks like, the one light picture. So we'll have six, all at different heights. So that'll look pretty cool. And then that... here in our cookhouse, um, which is kind of evolving as we continue to build it, but we just kind of wanted to talk about some of the things that we have going on. So you can see that we have um, the wiring done for a lot of outlets along here, which seems kind of odd. But our plan is to put a higher, almost like a counter up here that would be used for serving if we're having a, a bigger party or something like that or people could sit at to eat with bar stools so we wanted the outlets in case we had crock pots roasters things like that so we have those all up there um and then throughout this whole center part here we're going to have some high top tables with chairs for people to sit at as well uh, and then as you come back here you can see our this chandelier that we bought that you will put wine bottles in so it has some lights in there so that should look pretty nice and we're going to build um, almost like a peninsula island type of thing that will come out here that will be for more for food prep so it will have a butcher block on it so we can do all of our prep work in here as well um, and then we're going to have lights throughout the back as well that you can see that are, we're working on that part of it and trying to get all of our wiring done for in here. So this is kind of where we're at. We're still doing a lot of the work that seems to take a long time, unfortunately. And it doesn't feel like you make a lot of progress, but it's coming along nicely. We have to still do a lot of touch-up paint, and you can see the wiring that needs to be kind of finished up and all of that. But all in all, it's coming along well. So thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.